Hey, you caught me checking out dinosaurs. In this case, I'm looking at paleo art. Not fossils, but where an artist, in this case, an Italian artist named Franco Tempesta, looked at fossils and tried to figure out what the outside of the dinosaur might have looked like. This is one of my favorites. Draco Rex. Now, Draco Rex is one of my favorites because the original fossil, the holotype, of this type of dinosaur is at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, where I work. I get to see it all the time. And it was named, partially, by kids at the museum and by my good friend Victor Porter. Now, Draco Rex, well, it's a pretty cool dinosaur, but you can draw any dinosaur at home. Now, I bet you like to draw dinosaurs already, but you can do paleo art, even if you don't have fossils around the house. You wanna see how? You can take a skeletal drawing, a picture of fossils, just like that. With a grown-up's help, you can go online and find any dinosaur by putting in, say, Dracorex and skeletal drawing in an image search, and then you can pull up a picture of the skeleton just like that. And then, by putting a piece of blank paper over that, you can see those bones through there and then draw the outside of the dinosaur by looking at those bones. You wanna see how? And by adding a little shading, a little texturing, I'm able to finish this off and make what would look like, I think, a living Draco Rex. Wow. Huh, and that only took me a few seconds. Imagine what you could do. Go online, put in any dinosaur's name and the words skeletal diagram. Then, see what you can find, print it out, put it on a clipboard or a table with a piece of paper over it. Use that as a guideline to help you draw an entire finished piece of paleo art. I can't wait to see what you come up with. When you're done, post it in the comments below. And if you want to go a little deeper with this, if you want to see every step of how to do a sketch like this, follow the link that we've posted here, and I'll take a little more time doing this. Have fun doing your own paleo art, and thanks for visiting the Children's Museum of Indianapolis.